It's the largest and brightest object in the night sky. The moon is our planet's only natural satellite. It's less than a third of the width of Earth, and its orbit is getting wider and wider. Lunar missions began in the 1950s with two major players, the United States and the former Soviet Union. In the 21st century, more countries took up the challenge. China's lunar exploration began in 2004. The project was named after its moon goddess, Chang'e. Legend has it that Chang'e lived on the moon with a jade rabbit. China's first lunar probe, Chang'e 1, orbited the moon and mapped 3D images of the lunar surface. Chang'e 2 took pictures of Sinus Iridium, or the Bay of Rainbows. Chang'e 3 made a soft landing, and Chang'e 4 did so on the far side of the moon, the side that can't be seen from the Earth. Chang'e 5 brought back the country's first lunar samples. China's latest lunar probe Chang'e 6 was launched in May. It sent thrills around the world. I mean, definitely it's probably one of the, no, I think the most exciting launch I've ever seen in my life. We can see the rocket go, we can hear the rocket go, we're close enough to feel the rocket go. What a fantastic launch. We are on the way to the moon. Last month, Chang'e 6 made history. It collected the first ever samples from the Aitken Basin. The impact crater was formed some 4 billion years ago on the far side of the moon. Scientists consider the moon's far side a gold mine. By analyzing these samples, they hope to learn more about the evolution of the moon, the Earth and the solar system, as well as how to use resources on the moon for future lunar and space exploration. In the Chang'e 6 mission, China has worked with international players. The probe carried payloads from France and the European Space Agency, a laser angle reflector from Italy, and a CUBE satellite from Pakistan. And China says it wants more collaboration. Chang'e 7, set to launch around 2026 to survey the lunar South Pole region, plans to carry six international scientific instruments. Chang'e 8, which will be launched around 2028 to carry out experiments on utilizing lunar resources, is welcoming international payloads. China also plans to build an international research station at the Lunar South Pole. So far, over 10 countries and international organizations have joined the project. China aims to put taikonauts on the moon before 2030. Now think about it. Someday you and I could take a journey to the moon.